Ah, uh, yes, Genshin Impact. Or as literally every YouTuber or Twitch streamer out there would have you know, Breath of the Waifu. <laughs> I myself prefer Weeb of the Wild, The Legend of Yandere, but that's only me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jellyquent, and for those of you who don't know, I'm here to show you how my PC can handle streaming popular modern games. And uh, yeah, to help you start your streaming career as well. If you're wondering about the mustache, that's what my beautiful audience over on Twitch did to me. So if you want to join in on the fun, join me at twitch.tv slash jellyquintv. You can also ask questions about your PC and whether you can stream a game, and I will try to the best of my abilities to help you out. Genshin Impact is a beautiful and free-to-play game, which somewhat resembles Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It is not at all a demanding game, and runs on my i5-2400 and GT1030 Crappinator perfectly. However, I did notice that it didn't want to run on my Intel HD 4000 netbook. So take that as you will. But you came to get one question answered. Can you stream it? Short answer, of course. Long answer, well, you will just have to watch the video to find out. <laughs> Why am I so stupid? The PC we'll be using to stream the game is our trusty i5-2400 and GT1030 combo PC also known as the Crappinator. The settings we'll be using is of course 720p 30 super fast, my go-to for local PC games, 720p 30 very fast, the one I use while streaming on streaming services, and lastly 720p 60 very fast for giggles. Before we continue I would just like to say that a sub would mean the world to me. So yeah, if you're interested in more content like this, you know where the button is. Before we launch the game, I would like to show you a small nifty trick. When you're in the launcher, hold shift and click launch. Keep on holding shift until this window appears. There we will set the texture resolution and of course the graphical intensity of the game for our little PC. You can set the texture resolution to whatever you prefer. Uh, but just for the sake of performance, we'll set ours to 900p. Quality is of course going straight to fantastic because reasons. And now let's get on to the actual test. So first up is 720p 30 super fast, which is my go-to preset for any and all local games I'm streaming on this PC. It is tried and trusted and uh, works surprisingly well with most games out there. Unsurprisingly, running Genshin Impact was a breeze and streaming it is one as well i guess we lost zero frames meaning that all the, the little framey thingies came to their destination without wandering off so perfect score 10 out of 10. our next preset is 720p 30 very fast which is pretty much the same as super fast however using the very fast cpu usage preset we will gain some additional level of quality and at this point i honestly thought that obs was pulling a prank on me because it once again reported zero dropped frames after 20 minutes of streaming the game is either pretty well optimized which i honestly doubt or it's just a undemanding title either way i'm loving it and uh we'll probably stream it in the future as well now our last option is 720p 60 very fast and uh that is just me being dumb at this point <laughs> With the success of 720p 30 very fast, dropping zero frames, I thought, hey, maybe we can keep the CPU usage preset but increase the frame rate. However, that didn't fare too well and we lost a ton of frames, as you can see. 720p 60 very fast, not really recommended for Genshin Impact if you're running on a budget, but would definitely recommend if you have a slightly better CPU than I do. And that's about it. If you would like to support me, you know where the subscribe button is, but if you would like to support me more, follow me on Twitch and join me there to see what other ungodly things I do to my body. <laughs> you can find me over on twitch.tv slash jellyquintv. And as always, hope to see you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen.